very good friend of mine sailed the first snipe in Cuba back in 1931. You know, that's, uh, the plans came out in the uh, Rudder magazine, and it was an, a worldwide explosion for the snipe. It's the first time a little a small dinghy plans came out ever anywhere any this smaller boat ever thought about at that time 1930 and uh, so then uh, people all over the world start uh, building a snipes right out of the magazine all the members at the club knew that I wanted to snipe and they kept uh, hammering my father about getting a snipe for me you know so my father finally bought a snipe for me when I was 15 Back in the, in the 40s, early 40s, and a little before the 40s, there was a very good carpenter in our club, and he built several snipes. Among them, the one I own, which was 3686. The Commodore Rasco uh, was sort of a, uh, per, a person that uh, he was the Commodore of our club in Havana, in my Miramar Yacht Club, I'm sorry, and that he was practically a permanent uh, um, commodore, not because of any special thing, it's just because he was the only one who was willing to do it, you know? <laughs> so, you know, they, we had elections and nobody showed up, and so we had to re-elect him all the time. And he was not very wealthy, but wealthy enough to um, donate a snipe in some of the years, like 19, I think 1952, 53, 54, 55, he donated uh, a, a snipe to the club, to the Miramar Yacht Club, and then that boat was sailed, the members of the club sailed for, to win that boat. You know, among them, is some of them that are still around, uh, like um, uh, Paco Paquito Calvet, he won a boat, you know, and several other people won a boat. I didn't win it, but, uh, first, I, I was not allowed to compete for it because I already own a boat, you know, a snipe. <laughs> so they will not allow me to compete for it, of course, you know, but uh, that made our fleet grow tremendously, you know. Suddenly, you know, uh, at the end of six or seven years, we had, instead of uh, 10 boats, we had 17, 20 boats. My brother and I sailed for uh, a few years together, maybe 19, like 1957, 58, 59, we won the nationals in Cuba, the Cuban nationals, twice. And then we went to the Worlds in 1959, and we got second, my brother and I got second. The ones that I remember the most is uh, crew in Faragi in the World Championship in 75, we, we took second after Gancedo, Felix Gancedo. And, uh, and also I, sa I sailed with Augie a couple of Western, we won the Western Hemispheres in 1972 in uh, Cartagena, Colombia, and I crewed for him. So I have been, I crewed for him, so I crewed also in 1999, crewed for him the Worlds in Spain. That was a fantastic time we had there, you know. And the uh, funny thing is that we, as we came around the weather mark in, every, in some of the races, a lot of people were applauding us and thought, uh, Augie thought it was because of him. <laughs> People say, no, we're not applauding you, we're applauding your dad, you know. <laughs> I think Augie and I started the uh, special juniors with our, uh, with my grandkids, Lucas and Adrian, back in the um, 90s, yeah, I think in 1990 we started that, or maybe earlier, no, 1990 in uh, Annapolis, it was that uh, the special juniors had started, you know, and I had a hard time. I wanted the special juniors to sail with the juniors since we were having a very small fleet of juniors at that time. For some reason, we just lost uh, a lot of juniors' interest. And uh, so that, that I thought it would, that would help uh, give it a, you know, make it a, a little better fleet of juniors, and it did. But at the beginning, I had a lot of um, resistance from uh, the uh, uh, regatta organizers, the national organizers, that they didn't want to sail the special juniors with the regular juniors. They thought that that was not right, you know, but I, I thought it was good because uh, some of the special juniors with a, an adult and as, as a crew would be a good um, uh, competition for the juniors who, are, after all, they have to go to the worlds and represent us in the worlds, and if they get a, a poor a competition in uh, in a home. How how are they gonna do good in you know when they go abroad to uh, to represent us? You know so 
finally, I think I finally won the battle after five, several years that the, uh, the class recognized that our special union should sail together and get the same, but then at the end, they, they get the same scoring uh, from, the race, from race to race, but then at the end, you can select the junior national champion out of the best junior national, uh, the junior national crew that uh, gets the best scoring. You know, it doesn't matter. He's a junior national champion. 